Hey, what's up guys? Uh, just want to make a quick video. I had somebody request that I do a follow-up to my previous video and just uh, try and answer some of the common questions that I saw in the comments. Um, tried to help out as much as I could, but I uh, kind of saw some recurring themes, so I just want to go over a couple things that I noticed. Um, a lot of people were talking about uh, they got an error message that said like trial ended when they were trying to download it. Um, basically, that was just I'm guessing that's just the people that um, were doing the free multiplayer weekends and that sort of thing. But uh, if you're trying to upgrade to the next gen version, just go ahead and delete all that old content, uh, whether it be the game or the the little trial thing that you had to download. I'm not sure exactly how it worked because I already I already had the game, so I never downloaded that. But uh, basic rule of thumb, just delete that old content and just try and re-download the new game. Oh, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, a couple of really easy ways to tell, like I played for, I don't know, a month before I realized I wasn't playing the next, the next gen version, but a uh, couple of real easy ways to tell. Um, one is you won't see those advanced graphic settings in your, in your menu. Um, so if you go, if you hit the more options button while you're in Call of Duty and you go over to graphics and you don't see the option for ray tracing or the 120 hertz, then you're definitely playing the wrong version. Um, another easy way to tell is uh, a lot of people were reporting that the game was freezing. If you're playing the standard edition on the, uh, on the next gen consoles. So uh, if you're having that issue, it's more than likely you're playing the wrong version still. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, I had a question about um, game sharing. And uh, I looked up an article, I think it was from Game Ranks or something like that. Um, basically, they said that game sharing should still work the same way as it did previously. And uh, if you purchase the next gen uh, bundle, then you do have rights to both the standard version and the upgraded version, so you're still able to download both. So it should work even if your friend is playing on Xbox One and you're playing on the next gen. Um, you should be able to download those separate versions of the game on those separate consoles. So uh, as far as game sharing goes, it should still work. Um, another one, oh, this was really interesting. Um, so online, I was looking around, and everyone was saying that you couldn't upgrade the disc version. Uh, if you bought the standard edition, you couldn't upgrade it. Um, there was a guy that I was talking to in the comments from the last video who had the disc version, and he bought the cross-gen bundle. And uh, he said he basically uninstalled all the old content, and he actually was able to install the XS version. And he said it's working, he's playing 120 hertz, no problem, so... I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, give it a try. I can't guarantee it'll work, but this guy said that it worked for him, so uh, that'd be pretty cool if so. Oh, let's see what else we got here. I think the only other thing was I just wanted to show you how to. Uh, a lot of people were saying that they couldn't find the excess version of the game uh, in the store and stuff like that, because it is deceiving if you. If you go into the store and just search Call of Duty or Cold War, oops, that says Cod War. <laughs> but yeah, if you just go in and search Cold War uh, and go into the games, it is kind of weird because like there's no standard XS version. Like it's you have the original, you have the bundle. But if you try and go into the bundle, you don't see the normal XS version. You see there's the standard and there's the uh, ultimate edition and then the bundle. So I found an alternative way to get to it that makes it a lot easier. So this is after you've deleted your old version and any of the old content that you had on there. <clears throat> uh, go down to your My Games and Apps and go down to uh, a lot of people say they get that message that says like um, 
you have to go into your games and apps and re-download it from there. So this is how you do that. Uh, go down to full library and then all own games. And rather than clicking on uh, Cold War, you're going to go ahead and hit your more options button and click see in store. And that'll bring this up and it should automatically detect that you have the next gen version or the next gen console. So it'll say see Xbox Series XS versions. So you just click on that. And there it is right there. You got your Ultimate Edition cross gen, but the one on on the left here is the one that you're going to want. So just click that. Uh, it should say that you already own it. If not, it might have a price still, but when you click on it, I think the price goes away. But yeah, from there you just um, you can choose what you want to install or um, just install everything. Me personally, I, I didn't really play the campaign or zombies that much, so I just downloaded the multiplayer. But uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Um, I hope that helped you out. Hope uh keep getting more and more views on here. I think the original video is already up like over 3,000 views. So it was really nice to be able to help that many people. I appreciate you guys that uh, gave a shout out in the comments and uh, showed me your thanks. I appreciate it. I'm glad to help. I hope this one helps you too.